Hello people of the internet, been a busy week hasn't it? Thought I'd do a little bit of a, a catch up on what happened last week because uh, obviously you've got no better to do than watch my stupid videos so here we go. There will be uh, tomorrow an official uh, written statement by the Brexit steering group uh, on the uh, proposals between uh, brackets that we have uh, received uh, from uh, the UK government, but I can tell you that the first uh, reaction in the Brexit steering group uh, was not positive. This is Guy Verhofstadt. He is Nigel Farage's sparring partner in the European Union. He doesn't like the fact that the Brits are leaving Europe and he makes every possible opportunity to uh, to slate the British. And here he is talking about the Brexit steering group who mean absolutely nothing. Not uh, positive in the sense that uh, you know, we don't think that this is really uh, the uh, safeguard. Right, that doesn't make any sense. What it means is not positive in the fact that you're not going to be getting all our money anymore to, to help your little sh countries survive in Europe. Uh, that uh, islands uh, need. But tomorrow we will give uh, point after point the reasons for that. And we won't be listening because we'll be leaving in a few days, so... Uh, what is uh, not acceptable uh, in the proposal. Nobody cares what he thinks is acceptable. We are way beyond that. You've treated us like crap and we're leaving. And, and it's best summed up by, by the true king of rock and roll. Uh, Brexit looks like it's getting further and further oh, away. God, is, is, it gonna, go is it going to be bad for, for British rock music? No, we're going to do the rock business. Let's go do the rock business. Are going to tour in Europe? Oh dear, up? as if we didn't tour in Europe before the f***ing EU. Oh, give it up. <laughs> <laughs> On that right. note. <laughs> give it up. Uh, thank thank you. you very much, Betty. That's great. We're going to have to If you want to sign up to be ruled by a f***ing mafia, you do it. <laughs> like being governed by <laughs> FIFA. <laughs> Last week, left wing wet fanny and tifa followers did this to an old couple they stopped them crossing a road these are the people who are pretending to be the the freedom fighters of the good just just take a look at it and just remember that all these people are scum these are young mongoloid people who just think it's all right to act like dickheads the quicker the government start arresting and beating the crap out of these people, the better. If that were my gran, I'd be seriously upset. And I'd be going finding them little prats. And I'd be having a little quiet word down an alley. Okay, this next clip is of an old granny who doesn't like Boris Johnson. And she's become super famous on the internet. Just here in Uxbridge today, um, Boris Johnson's constituency. Don't you ever mention that name in front of me, that filthy piece of toe rag? Little bit of an overreaction, Grandma. Um, I think they could have mentioned anybody's name to her. They could have mentioned Mother Teresa, and she'd go, Don't you mention that toe rag to me. You won't want her as your granny. She has got proper face on. And you can't even say it's rag week. The old woman's dust. <coughs> Totally no idea what's going on here at all, right? But she's got something stuck in her throat as far as I'm concerned. And that guy did not turn up on day one of his first aid course. It's okay, he's going to get it out though. He's got a little tune going on. He's tried the slaps. Back to Heimlich manoeuvre. It's near. Okay, this is totally not true, but I'm going to show you it anyway because it's funny. I was tagged in this. This is the Iranian women's athletics being shown on Iranian TV. Because they wear skimpy costumes, they can't show it. It's not true, but it is funny. So I'm showing it. Okay, the next one is uh, protesters protesting about climate change. Now, we all agree that climate change is a bad thing. However, mostly it's going to happen, regardless of what you complain about. You cannot save the planet one fecking paper straw at a time. It won't happen. However, these guys have got off their asses 
and they've gone to London and they're firing fake blood at buildings from a fire engine that I've paid for. So uh, they're morons. Anyway, it all goes wrong. Here we go. What you do is you get your fire engine, you get the hose, you fill it with fake blood, and then you it's start really spraying insane. it all this over the building. But you're not strong enough to hold your fire hose, and then the red ink goes everywhere. Obviously, red ink is good for the planet, right. so you can use red, not other colours you can't use. Uh, and you've got to fire it from a gigantic diesel guzzling uh, fire engine, because that it's is really saving amazing. the planet. And when you're trying to spray a big white building, uh, red, what you need is two really weak people to retrieve your horse pipe off the floor as red fake blood made out of ink sprays all over and you need four morons on the top of your big fire engine your big guzzling diesel guzzling fire engine and that is how to save the planet one diesel guzzling fire engine filled with ink at a time. Christian climate action. Bloody Christians Under again embarrassing me. The UK Treasury. Jesus. To highlight the fact that the UK government is still funding climate's death. Shut up, you idiot. We want to remind you that this protest is part of a build up. Ya <laughs> Allah. Yeah, Allah, the man of you, 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 Allah, the